Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. GTA and we're going to be covering GTA 6 news today. We're going to be going over a lot of features, including graphics features, settings and other issues, location, map size, and everything about that, as well as online features. So stay tuned on this video because we're going to show you everything we possibly think will be in this game. Before we get started, I'd like to say all this information has been gathered and concluded over analysis of previous GTAs and other modders. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video. We're first going to go over the single player and online features. The single player features are probably going to be introduced and then one month later online will be online access, just like previous GTAs. They will probably have more of the single player features added natively into online to make it more of an organic experience for all. Um, the map size is probably not going to be really small or really, really big. The best explanation for this I can say is probably going to be the crew. The crew is map size and it's probably going to be 2.5 times bigger than the size of current GTA 5. And it's probably going to take you 10 minutes to travel from bottom to top and you can probably fast travel to other cities. The location is probably going to be vast US territory containing Miami, LA, New York City and inland and beaches. The settings probably going to be present day to keep up with the adolescent generation um, and let's just face it in five years a broad audience probably won't conceptualize on the relation of 1980s games, so they're probably not going to go with that. Uh, for the characters, they're probably going to have three characters again, as well as a character switching will, except for one of the characters, which is the Mexican character of previous GTA 5, is probably going to be switched into a female lead and probably going to be the lead of the game, probably starting out that way. Her, and it's probably going to be um, leaked or revealed as Eva Mendez, is what we've concluded from that. Um, the GTA 6 DLC will probably be equivalent of EVE Online multiplayer and you'll probably have different DLCs you can buy and they'll probably be adding in stuff that we've modded into GTA 5 like you know LSPDFR or some type of simulation and the music will probably vast oldies as well as new present day. Now for the system requirements um, they're probably going to be up to par with Windows 10 at that time. They're probably going to be a CPU of recommended spec of 8 cores or minimum of 4 cores. The only thing that's pretty much going to be different for this current generation from GTA 5's uh, requirements is probably going to be the GPU and the RAM and the um, data drives. Because this is going to be 4K natively exposed and the game's going to be running 4K native, we're probably going to need something of equivalence of 8 gigabytes minimum and 16 max for RAM. And then you're probably going to need a SSD, a GPU, uh, that supports native 1080 or 4K Ultra to even run the game, which would be equivalent of 2600 CUDA cores, a bandwidth bus of 512 megabytes, and 48 gigabytes of VRAM, or pretty much a GTX 980 or a 1080 Ti. And it'll probably support 120 hertz at full 4K for the refresh rate, and maybe even 8K if some people mod it in. And I'm expecting the file size of the game to be around 85 to 90 gigabytes. And last but not least, I'm expecting to see a GTA 6 trailer no later than May through August 2017. And that's pretty much all the information I have now. Let's get the comments going. Let me know what you guys uh, think about those. And leave a like if you liked it. And until next GTA 6 release news, this is Dr. GTA and I'll see you guys later.